What's up guys, War here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm bringing you a tips and tricks video to get you guys jump started into Vessel of Hatred season six that starts literally tomorrow. So I'm bringing you this quick little just like information guide, just things I think you should really pay attention to. And these tips and tricks will help you just become super powerful and just really be ahead of the game inside of season six. Now, the very first tip along with my gameplay here in the background is play the spirit born i will tell you guys right now i had early access if you guys haven't been following the channel myself and a bunch of other creators had early access all last week playing the brand new season six and i can tell you with all of the changes from the campfire stream uh the dev the patch notes all these things the spirit born is going to be absolutely insane it's very very strong class the the class has so many different options it's the most well-balanced class out of all six of the classes it has unlimited potential when it comes between mixing the different spirit borns um and it just really has the best state of any class that i think we've had throughout the entire year over a year of this game in general not to mention it's something brand new it's something very very unique um and it just has a really like unparalleled way to use different mechanics all at the same time and different abilities and just really maximize your character's potential not that the other classes don't have the ability to be you know very powerful and stuff but you know we've we've had these classes for a while man and you know from the patch notes you can see that a lot of the cool stuff that we had again in the ptr uh continues to get nerfed i mean i love that we have the ptr but it just seems like every single time we have the ptr and we find something cool to do uh it gets nerfed and then all the bad stuff gets buffed it's kind of been blizzard's um like game plan every single season so with that said i will tell you play spirit born the class is very, very powerful, especially in the end game. Um, especially, you know, with all these new unique items and stuff that are coming, the Spiritborn is very, very strong. So the next tip here, let me bump out of this video. The next tip, guys, and I've talked about this in my leveling guide, and I've talked about these things in other videos, but these are the best. These next four tips are literally the best things to do, especially early on in the season. So tip number two is the opals. That's these bad boys right here. I'm going to blow this image up for you guys. These seething opals. These are a brand new item that you get from completing the Undercity, okay? Now, I'm going to talk about the Undercity because it is in our last tip, tip number five. But tip number two is definitely to get these opals. Um, yeah, you actually don't get these in the Undercity. You get these from the Run Walkers. But uh, you want to get these. The main reason is it's going to be able to give you a lot of gold which shouldn't be a problem anyway, especially with the Infernal Hordes. Uh, a lot of equipment drops, which I think is nice. But the most important one is definitely the materials. Getting herbs and crafting materials is going to be huge. However, that's a secondary effect to this. The best and biggest part of this is that you gain 15% experience. 15% is insane. We've never had an elixir or anything that gives 15% EXP from one pop for 30 minutes. So the opals, you definitely need to rack these things up with the new seasonal theme. Go ahead and get these. Now, I will continue to just pile on with this. You These do stack. For all those who are wondering, these do not replace your elixir. These stack with your elixir. So you can have an opal, you can have an elixir, and you can have a incense going all at the same time. So that's literally 25% bonus EXP on your character. Now, there is some other elixirs that you guys can find eventually that give a little bit more XP, like 6% or 8%, I believe. But in the very beginning, when you're first going and getting through the game, 25% extra EXP is huge. It's already easy enough to level up in this game, and you should really get to 60 very quickly. But the Opals, 15% is just bananas. So definitely go get these, okay? Very, very important. Com uh, tip number three is completing your Renown, okay? Complete your Renown. Okay, this is very important. Go complete your Renown in Nahantu. Everybody, because everybody has to start brand fresh, we do have to go complete the Renown and do it all, like, not all over again, but we have to explore the brand new map. We have to go complete the dungeons, destroy the strongholds. We have to go get 
all of the uh not the altars of lilith but we got to go get the uh statues of akarat is what they are called uh to get to max up all of our renown now i will mention that level four renown is the main renown that you want to get to so four out of five renown because at level four they swapped them so four and five four used to be where you get another po or uh, max oval slot like it increases your obols and then stage five would give you your last paragon points those have been switched so at stage four you will get your your final like boost in paragon points from completing the renown and then in step five of the renown of nahantu you will get max opals so if you really want to push to like max out your opals you definitely can it's definitely going to be worth it so i would just do it but if you just want to stop at four because you just want the paragon points then there you go but i highly suggest that you finish this and do this so you don't have to do it all over again all right just knock it out just be done with it and get it over with exploring the new uh section of the map is very very easy you're just gonna blast right through it it's just one section we don't have to do five uh and again if you're doing this with party members for the dungeons you're gonna finish this much faster you can split in the dungeons and everybody can take one in different sections and it will all count towards your renown all right so just knock this out it's a very very important it's gonna boost your character's power early on definitely knock it out if you go through and do the campaign you will have most of the map explored just naturally playing the campaign so once you finish the campaign you only actually have to do a little bit more and then it's all done so it's really not that hard or complicated by the time you hit 60 you should have everything completely uh, explored and done for your renown all right use lobo mercenary he finds mats for you so for those who don't know out of the mercs here Lo lobo or lobu is the ranger or the trap master this one here on the left that my mouse is on out of the mercenaries now a quick little like cool thing that he does is is when you're running around like the overworld right you're just out in the world like you're doing a hell tide or something or you're running around because you're doing missions or something like that having him as your hired mercenary hired mercenary he cannot be in your reinforcement slot he has to be in your hired mercenary slot so that means that that's the one that follows you around okay he has to be in that slot because if it if he is he will highlight the herbs on the map as you're just running around so i highly suggest like if you're going to go farm hell tides for like an hour or you're going to go farm you know something else or just run around clearing like nahantu's map for your renown definitely get lobu with you so that way he highlights all of those herbs uh that are just hanging around the overworld because you will need mats you will need mats there was points throughout the early access where like i severely lacked iron chunks and i just did not have enough resources to like imprint a power on my gear to upgrade a power like master working like like i just did not have enough materials to just imprint or just like, you know, uh, not, uh, what is it, uh, enchant, thank you, enchanting. Like I just did not have the materials to do it. So use him, he definitely highlights things so you will never miss them. Farming like Helltides for an hour with Lobu is just super easy. You just pick up everything and you will have enough. I know in the past notes that they are buffing the, you know, the iron chunks and those things. So, but still, even with that said, you wanna use Lobu to go find all of your herbs as you're playing through the game it's very very important now the last and final tip to get you guys going crazy in season six that is to farm the undercity right here go farm the undercity you unlock the undercity rally rather early it unlocks at level 15 um going through the campaign it's very very fun now the reason the undercity is very important is because you can target farm gear all right you can target farm gear in the undercity and once you really start unlocking and uh, getting your Undercity, uh, being like your, your sigils that you can do to adjust the Undercity and uh, apply, you know, different affixes and stuff and rewards, farming the Undercity is actually very good for those things as you're leveling up to 60 and right after 60. Like it's a really nice way to go farm that stuff. And it's very quick. By the time you get to 60 and you have your, like your build kind of put together, you could target farm certain gear pieces or certain gear that you need to kind of round out your build. 
And the Ender City is just a really cool mechanic that I think a lot of players early on are going to love. So outside of the, the campaign, if you hit the Ender City at 15 and you just want to start doing it, then you're going to get an insane amount of XP, but you're also going to get some really good gear along the way. Um, I would probably do the Ender City after completing the campaign because like I said in my campaign video, naturally on difficulty of hard, so if you guys are like psycho god gamers and playing on expert or uh, penitent even on just hard you get to 60 just playing through the campaign like you complete the campaign and you are level 60 like that's how much exp you get from just doing the campaign so i highly suggest that you just go through do the campaign explore that and then you're fine and you're good to go when you finish you'll be at 60 and then you can go do all the end game activities that you want to do but the Undercity is very great for target farming and getting specific gear pieces. Um, I really enjoyed the Undercity. It wasn't too complicated. It was very straightforward. It's like a mini pit and you just have an absolute blast. So guys, these are the, my top five tips for season six to give you a huge jump start into the season. Go knock these out and you will have a much better and more enjoyable time inside season six. And not only that, your character will be OP, all right? play Spearborn. Okay. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video, comment down below. Let me know if you guys have any other questions about season six before it launches tomorrow night on NA. I think it's a little bit later for EU players, but yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe guys. And as always stay gaming and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.